Alright, good day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today is going to be a special video. We are going to be checking out a game called uh, My Father Lied by Lunar Games. Now, this game is going to be a little special as it's under interesting circumstances considering that uh, my brain just. <laughs> this, just my brain is. Ugh. Alright, just what you guys know, I do apologize if my brain is a bit scattered or my sentences can be a little incoherent. It's been a rough couple days, however, you know what? I saw... This game I found out in an interesting way, where, um... Excuse me, I'm just gonna turn down this down for a moment. Where... I was just scrolling through like the indie side of Twitter and I saw that the game developer talked about how this game, like they lost their channel because they were trying to promote their game. Because YouTube was like, oh no, this is scamming. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's spam. Considering all the ads that YouTube has, shame on them. As, um, from talking to the developers themselves, they're really nice people. And it's honestly an honor to try to help you know, broadcast this game for others to play it. Where this game, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I've already played a little bit of it. Where um, I, you, you see the resume button, right? So I was trying to record. I'm gonna be honest. Where I was trying to record, however, my microphone decided to glitch out. And uh, before we can finish the demo. It decided not to want to cooperate, so we're going to get right back into it, as I genuinely would recommend playing this game. Hit new game, progress. And I'm not going to lie, the environments in this game are incredible. Click your continue. You know, you know what would be amazing? If there was like a jump scare easter egg. Where, uh, oh, there we go. Why is there a tunnel under this place? You just stare down the tunnel for like two minutes to three minutes and there'd be just eyes glow or something. Like, you'd see like the red eyes of the bookshot or that dealer. Or an entity, that'd be cool. I still can't get over this because the way that the camera works reminds me a lot of um, this game called Dead of Night, where it's like a live action first person style game, where it's like a survival horror. The presentation, I just can't get over the presentation because the music is also really fitting too. A dramatic gasp. Ah, okay. It's still really cool that this is we're in Iraq. Because in a lot of like puzzle mystery games, you never really know where you are. Where um, I'm gonna be honest, this game really gives me a lot of like amnesia, the bunker kind of vibes. But so far, just this is honestly really cool. Okay, three is hearted. I wonder if I can actually spin the camera. Game dev, I'm sorry if I'm gonna... Oh. I wanna try to break the camera a little bit. <laughs> Just be a little silly. Is this some military post? Oh, that's a new line of dialogue. Because uh, when I first played this portion, because I haven't fully played the game because the microphone decided to die while recording. Well, not really die, but more of glitch out and sound like a uh, Decepticon just being electrocuted underwater, um, I didn't get that line of dialogue. That's actually really cool, so I'm not sure if the dialogue changes every time you play. If so, that is a really nice detail. 
or if the first run was a glitch. And it's whatever. Okay. Got a little mini 14 or an M14 on the wall with an AK. Missing a hook. Because when I first played, I was just kind of goofing around more than anything. So I didn't, I didn't fully solve the puzzle or anything. I was just kind of goofing around, kind of looking at the environment and just how well everything is really done. Okay. So, everything like past here, I, I past this room, I don't know. Ooh, that's. Ouch. <laughs> Grab hands. What name got we ain't got a 1911. It needs a key. Well, I can't read any of that. Uh, Gideon's locker is the one on the right. Samir's is in the middle. Leonardo da Vinci is rolling in his grave. Where my love is when Samir was born twice. And he was locker is something. There's a drawing of the skull inside of it. That's not good. Oh. Okay. I was just kind of more goofing around, so this is actually a bit of a newer experience, too. Alright. To my wife. My memory is tainted. I wasn't sure I was married, but your picture in my pocket and your letter before my deployment were the only things left from the outside world. Don't worry, we will defeat the invaders. Our scientists and leaders are working hard, but I don't remember what they do. I don't remember what they told me, or if they told me anything, except to guard the place from intruders. So, I also to myself here because I don't remember the two officers who are with me, but I also have a picture of myself with them. Something made me forget. Maybe it's the thing you're working on. Whatever it is, I'm willing to sacrifice. Forgive me if my message is short, but I have a severe headache, and every day it becomes worse. I, I can't bear it. It's as if something is pushing from the inside. I hope I find a way to stop this headache with love, a deal. Okay. Kadeem, my close friend, Heavy Smoker, is in the picture, born in December. Samir met him recently and loses his phone, asks about a question, born in July. Never forget who you are, a deal. Alright, um... Let's look at the safe. Alright, so... Let's see actually... Okay, what, what would be a possible connection? You know, if you're a TF2 fan, you would get this. But it's a 4 digit code, so 111, 1, ah, uh, on code. Okay, so... So it was born in December, that would be like, what, 12? And born in July, it would be 7. So if it's, hang on, where my love is, the heart that was on the map is 3, so that's 7-7, seven, seven, and then Kadeem's locker is, what, 6 or 9? That's a nine. Okay, so it's three seven seven nine. I check. Like your what? Oh, Whee! <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm being a little goofy. Um, I, I, I really like these kind of camera angle games where you can kind of goof with it. All right. Oh. So then that would be three seven seven. Oh, I double clicked. Three is seven seven nine. Ooh, a hook and a handle. Alright. So I haven't gotten these before, so I don't know what these do. However I I have a feeling that goes over here. Because it said something was missing on the wall and it's a weapon wall, so 
it makes sense that the pistol goes here. Oh, that was actually smooth. I like that. This whole game, I love it. <laughs> like the wheel. Okay, this looks so much worse. Not worse in a bad way, but it's just the lighting just made the mood more terrifying. <laughs> more uh, uneasy. Ooh. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's creepy, but I love it. Oh, that is creepy, and I love it. Oh, okay. oh wait, I can go back. Okay. Oh, uh, they're dead. What's on this guy's body? Oh, it's a phone. Nine one one. <laughs> uh, considering the uh, state of the corpse, I don't think. Oh, there's a key. I don't know if it's the. That looks actually ominous. So can I like search this corpse? Okay. Actually, wait, uh, I'll probably do it post, but I'm going to try to grab, like, a screenshot for the thumbnail. Oh, this generator still works. I need to connect to the wire. I'm surprised this generator actually works. It, it, it works. I think it works now. I... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Body. Body. No, hang on. Body. Body. Ooh. Okay, that is screenshot material. Hold on. Nope, that's not what I tried to hit. Nope. Cooperate with me. Keep... Wait. Wait, can I just hit F12? I, I'm so dumb. I'll just take a screenshot. Okay, what's on the body, though? Poor guy. I, I wish it, there was a few more lines of dialogue where... More reactions from the character, though. Because... The first gasp was kind of a nice touch. Okay, what's here? Uh. Okay, so it's not in there. I mean, I got a key, so I guess I can go... Oh! It's... Oh, that is... Terrifying looking. I know that's the map, but if... It does not look like the map. Okay, well, there's this locked drawer here. Samir, you're more on your... P your password is... Grekold. Gre Grekold? Got it. Wait, is that what the phone is for? Hold on. That's actually really clever. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's gonna be a bit annoying, though. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit annoying. Because since it's like the old style phones, like the Nokia era phones, it's like one of those, uh. What would that translate as? Grek old. Ok, 
Okay, so Greg all oh, okay, I gotta I gotta I gotta actually pull up my phone for a second. Okay, so G would be Okay, so it'd be four G P Q two R W X Y Z. Okay, A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R P Q R N, so that'd be seven. A B C D E three. So four seven three Correct old. So that'd be two, four seven three two. O is six. L is five. D is three. Four seven three twenty six fifty three. Okay. That's actually really clever. I, I, I really like that. Let's see if it's right. Okay. Four seven three two six five three two six five three. Okay, cool. of military outpost is this? Whoa. Whoa. What is this place? That's a good question. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to make this a screenshot for the thumbnail. Oh, there's an electronic door. Oh, boarded up. A boarded door. Oh, transmission of a German letter from 15... Okay, that's, that's a, that has to be a clue. Because a lot of the passwords has been four-digit numbers. So if it's a four-digit number, that's probably one of them. Dear Leonard... I've been informed through the two exporters in Tripoli that you have left Baghdad in order to treat patients in the division in the south. They say you found them disfigured skin and hallucinating. I know you aspire to be noble, but what they describe is me as a waste of time. What you see might be some kind of plague that you cannot do nothing about, but you can still with what I sent you for. Just find herbs and medicines for our company. I beg you to return to Baghdad and whilst I do apologize if I mispronounce anything, Mosul, where you know how to cure what they call there. As I've been told by our friends at Tripoli, the curse of the ancient masters of the land, more specifically than south in the kingdom of the Ottomans. Oh, okay, but I'm gonna just type that on my phone real quick. 17. Okay. So then, what's over here? Okay, that's Gertrude Bell. I I don't know who that is. Adventurer, explorer, archaeologist, spy. She drew the Iraqi borders. She was born on July 4th, 1868 into a wealthy family in Washington, New Hall, England. Becoming known as Die Margaret. She died on July 12th, 1926 from an overdose of sleeping pills. Maybe it was suicide. Wait, or an assassination. Wait, hold on. Okay, so it's either 1868 or 1926. So let me just type that up. 1868, 1926, okay. Okay, if this is, if you're an Arabic reader, or if you can read Arabic, if the red text is assassination, or, or assassination, uh, that is actually a really nice detail. Mesopotamia 2500, Mesopotamia 3500. Okay, I feel like these two may be throwing me off, but I'm not sure. So 2500 and 3500. 
Oh, that's not true. Alright, well, let's continue to walk around and see what we got. Mesopotamia 1000, that's when two errors merged for the first time, creating the same game of her. Okay, since that has text right there, that may be important. Mesopotamia 1500. Okay, actually, wait, if this one has text, that means this is important. So 1000 BC is important. Okay, so that may be important. This is actually a really cool room. I don't know who this is. Francis Chesney. Never heard of that. Francis Chesney. Probably French. These notes are paved the way for the events that will save our country and guarantee peace for its people. From the memoirs of Francis Chesney during his travels on the Euphrates Road. Okay. Oh, I don't know what those could be. Oh, it's multi. Okay, multi coded. Staff only? What's happening here? Uh. Okay, so it's a series of. I'll have to, I'll have to start over. What? Can I do anything over here? Wait! Oh! Okay. So, I'm guessing that these are clues for the four passwords. Okay, hold on. Is that an obelisk? Can I do more with that information? Hold on. Do you give more information? G no, genuinely. Oh, wait, you do. Uh, obelisk found in 1865. And I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say those. Okay. One is two. Okay, so great king, strong king, king of the world, king of Assyria, king of countries, builder of the post of the column. Or, uh, he is what? Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. I don't know how to say any of these. Having considered literally carry to mind the sufferings of our Arabi Arab allies, he is me conquered. Iria is evil, buried, he is victims, he is the god of plague, literally the infectious curse, what's going on in the past, is now hidden under the sands of the present, died of suffocation, literally with what? Okay, hold on. A testament of the power of Shalmanzer, Shal 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 I, I'm sorry, a testament to the friendship of Shalmanzer, who was me, and of King Al Araibi, who is Jundub, his name is Jundub Arabic for grasshopper. I was not testify believe or change my obelisk, but destroy my name, raise his name, bury it with dirt, throw it in the water. May the god, I don't know how to say that, and the king of the country pluck his offspring before facing him. May the god Nurgle seized by his sweeping force. Ends of his army, may the god assure my personal god be working in the form forever. What does any of that mean? Okay, um, I don't really know Middle Eastern mythology, so... I, I genuinely have no idea what any of this means. Like, not in a disrespectful or distasteful way. It's one of those... Uh, is this a legend? Is this lore? I, I genuinely don't know. It's... Intriguing. As it's kind of written like a first person and... Third person kind of way, but okay. Obelisk found in 1865. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, I, I don't, I don't know if this is like a legend, or an Assyrian obelisk. I'm, I'm guessing this has to do with some kind of legend or myth. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Page, oh, it's a diary. Oh, wait, what? It's a diary, okay. Today is March 12th in the year of our Lord, 1835. We were in the Dutch County. 
kingdoms on the coast of Africa and in order that King William's fourth land would remain safe from Russian expansion before the king to, to British rule in India. Before seeing by only the Sultan and after your preparation, we started a journey from Antolia on the 16th. Point where I'm one of the state's successive expeditions of our own forget on the shortest way to India. Okay, there is. Okay, so. 1835 seems to be an important year. Because it's been mentioned, what? Twice now? Hmm. No, the other time it was 1865. Page 3 of the day started with good weather and full promise, and it ended with a disaster. A storm and heavy rain fell upon us, we barely saved our cell and lost the other boat. From the virus, and we reached the city of Anna, and we were to go home uh, after such a loss. We saved uh, our Arabic speaking companion from Antonis, who was up in here, are very happy. I've seen him before. Hmm. Southern news. Hmm. I have to go on the our political dilemma. Okay. A strange thing happened for some reason, and after we set off from Anna, for the crew members, my friend, Ellsworth, back in port. How it happened? Not only his wife, but he's also a surgeon and geologist. That is to say, on this journey after me, he had to walk for two days to catch up with us. We just stopped on the banks due to an engine failure. Meanwhile, we found ourselves surrounded by half naked people. And the first spoke to them and told us that. We were not welcomed, they seemed sick, their limbs were very small. When I asked my interpreter uh, that this region is cursed and that whoever stays there for too long does not know what this word means, will take years from your life, he will, he will take your health, your sanity. One of them put you to point to his face, but even then, we were so disgusted by always seeing some of them in front of us. And then we must leave this place for us, we would not be able to leave like them, we made our way to the sea. Okay, so this seems... Okay. Alrighty, so... How... How would I open the door? Is there an, is there an order to do this? Okay, so the first one... Okay, wait. So the first one is like what? How oh, wait, actually what's the order of this going? So it's like one, two, three, four, is it gonna be like Okay, so Okay, so let me let me try something. So the first one we saw was what, nineteen twenty six? Okay. I mean, we also we saw eighteen thirty-five. So one eight three five. Okay. So is this more of deducing it? Okay. Hold on. Well, we also saw eighteen sixty-eight. Uh, I wonder if there was a, an order. I mean, considering the dates, it would seem like we just have to put it in and then kind of brute force it. But, hmm. But I mean, first pass, like, I'm guessing the first password was like 1575? Oh. And maybe 1926? Oh, it's going to be one of these. Okay. So, we know the first password is 1575. What? Okay, so it's 1575. And it's not 1835. Uh, did I try 1835 or 1868? I don't know. Okay, um. Let's try 1835. Oh, okay. All right, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. All right, what if we tried, okay, 
what was the other one that we saw? So, the passwords, the numbers that we saw was 1575, 1926, 1835, 2500, 3500, 1868, 1000. So this is like, alright. There has to be an order though. So if I were to guess, hmm. well, if the first password was 1575, the second password was 1835. So it seems like it's moving up. So then it would be what? 1926? Oh! Okay, okay. Okay, so it is in order. So from 1575, 1835, then it moved up from 1926. Okay, okay. So then the second highest number would be. Hang on. If it's moving up, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If it's moving up from 17, okay, so 1575, 1835, 1926, but if I have 1860, okay, but I have 1000, so I have either 1000, 2500, and 3500. So do I have to add? This, this, okay, it's, it's math, it's math. Okay, so, if I did a low ball and said 1865 plus, we saw the year 1000, right? That'd be 2865. But I, I don't think that would be right, though. Okay, so, hold on. So the first password we know Oh no, I also I also have a 10 to double click, so it would be 1575 1835 1926 But, okay, here's the thing though, we saw the maps, which had the year 1000 We had the year 2500 and the year 3500 and if it's a game of moving up then i don't know it, would a thousand be the safest bet so if i did like what let's say 18 no nope. okay i keep double clicking okay one one five seven five one eight three five one nine two six and then two eight six five which is the combination of eighteen sixty five plus a thousand because the way that I'm thinking about it is that the year one thousand also had the text under it which made it important that's why I typed it down so that would be two eight six five Oh. Okay. Let's see what secrets you have in there. Oh, somebody walked. Or something moved. In old times, the witch doctors traded people. They told them to stay away from dirty places because in them would be even too small for our eyes to see. They entered the body and caused us to become ill. Today we call them microorganisms, viruses, bacteria, and parasites. It was once a cursed as a curse, and magic is now called science. Huh, okay, I mean, that's a way to look at it. Thank you for playing my demo. The secrets will be remain buried. Ah, teasing. Okay. Alright, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is going to conclude, um, 
My father lied. <coughs> Excuse me. Or genuinely, I highly recommend checking out this developer, giving Lunar Games a follow. Unfortunately, their YouTube channel is gone. Where uh, it's a little bit of a sad story, where the developer Lunar Games was trying to promote their game. However, oh, just immediate click. However, I'm just gonna do the goodnight difficulty, the goodnight thing screen. Where they were trying to promote their game, however, YouTube decided to give them the ban hammer and termination because YouTube said that oh they were doing spam, which is if you've ever looked at a uh, any advertisement that YouTube shows, especially the obvious phishing schemes like the fake Mr. Beast click here for a thousand dollars, like oh this this is a developer who has created something incredible. And YouTube was like, ah, we gotta shut it down. Nonetheless, even though it's a sad situation, the developer is in high spirits, and I heavily recommend supporting the developer, wish wishing this game on Steam, giving it a play for yourself. And I give this 10 out of 10, and I cannot wait to see the full release. And to the developers, I do apologize if I goofed around a little too much. <laughs> that being said, I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.